Hello beautiful people, today I'm going to be coming to you guys with an awareness topic, which is estrogen dominance, okay? A lot of us, you know, experience estrogen dominance and we don't even realize what's going on with us, okay? Now, first I'm going to tell you guys what estrogen is. Estrogen is known as the female hormone. Testosterone is known as the male hormone. Although each hormone is identified with a specific sex, both are found in women and men. On average, women have higher levels of estrogen and men have more testosterone. In women, estrogen helps initiate sexual development, along with another female sex hormone known as progesterone. It also regulates a woman's menstrual cycle and affects her entire reproductive system. In premenopausal women, estrogen and progesterone levels vary from one stage of the menstrual cycle to another. Now we're going to go on to what estrogen dominance is. Estrogen dominance is essentially too much estrogen. There is no set number that indicates estrogen dominance. It's the amount of estrogen you have relative to other sex hormones. Now, estrogen is crucial for day-to-day -day functioning. It regulates menstruation, hunger, and insulin sensitivity. It also helps you metabolize cholesterol, etc. Without estrogen, you end up with vaginal changes that lead to painful sex and urination, hot flashes, moodiness, irregular periods, brain fog, and more. However, too much estrogen can wreak havoc on your whole body. It can cause things ranging from fatigue and anxiety to fibroids, endometriosis, abnormal menstruation, and breast cancer. Now, conventional medicine tends to prescribe hormonal birth controls to alleviate symptoms of estrogen dominance, which can have a lot of side effects and make the problem even worse in the long run. In the case of high estrogen levels, too much of a good thing can cause biological chaos. Here are a few symptoms of estrogen dominance in women. PMS, weight gain, particularly in the hips, thighs, and midsection. Fibrocystic breasts, fibroids, endometriosis, irregular menstruation, fatigue, re reduced sex drive, depression, anxiety, bloating, breast tenderness, headaches, mood swings, brain fog, insomnia, cold hands or feet or both, memory problems, and hair loss. Now, conditions related to high estrogen are breast cancer and ovarian cancer. According to studies, estrogen dominance can also increase your risk of endometrial cancer. High levels of estrogen may put you at a higher risk of blood clots and stroke ladies. Estrogen dominance may also increase your chances of thyroid dysfunction, and this can also cause symptoms such as fatigue and weight changes. Here are some causes of high estrogen. High levels of estrogen can develop naturally, but too much estrogen can also result from taking certain medications. For example, estrogen replacement therapy, which is a popular treatment for symptoms of menopause. This can cause estrogen to reach problematic levels. Your body may also develop low testosterone or low progesterone levels, which can upset your hormonal balance. If you have estrogen levels that are abnormally high relative to your progesterone levels, it's known as estrogen dominant. Now, I will let you know, you know, a few symptoms that are in men. Although it's called the female hormone, a man's body also makes estrogen. A healthy balance of estrogen and testosterone is important for sexual growth and development. When these hormones become imbalanced, your sexual development and function may be affected. Here are some symptoms of high estrogen or estrogen dominance in men. You guys can experience infertility, develop male breasts, as well as experience male erectile dysfunction. That's all I have for you on this video. I am coming out of with a women's program. I'm not sure when. It's, I know it's taking a long time, but I have not been getting much of a response from 
the ladies to let me know if you guys actually really want it or not. I ended up putting other things like my dessert cookbook in the forefront. All right. But if you guys actually truly want a women's program, let me know in the comments below and I will definitely continue working on the women's program because I actually know that you guys really want it. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe and comment below and let me know what other topics you would like me to touch on in other videos. Thank you for watching. Bye now.